Lab TV. We are America's online video medical network, honoring doctors on the front lines of medicine, including hundreds from America's top hospitals and research universities, and hundreds more from the NIH. Most important thing to me as a doctor is integrity. I'm very much interested in improving the human condition. At the heart and the center of everything is the patient. Lab TV, bringing you this video spotlight. We were at home and she was standing in front of me and her eyes were going cross-eyed. So I took her to her eye doctor and they did an MRI on her and they said that she had a benign tumor behind her left eye. So then we came here and they said that they couldn't remove the tumor so they wanted to do the chemotherapy for it. In the heart of Northeastern Ohio lies University Hospitals of Cleveland, a major nonprofit medical complex that is home to world-class clinical and research centers. The Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital is one of the highest ranked children's hospitals in the world. Dr. Peter DeBlanc is a leading clinician and researcher in pediatric oncology and specializes in neurofibromatosis 1, or NF1, an inherited neurological disorder that commonly show signs before the age of 10. How are you, cutie pie? This is Layla. What did you get me? One of his patients, two-year-old Layla Carney, has a tumor behind her left eye, which will cause a loss of vision if left untreated. This is mine? What? About one in 3,000 children get NF1, and about 20% of these children have brain tumors, which often block the optic pathway, that part of the brain that helps translate vision from the eyeball to the mind. <gasps> oh, very nice, high five. The disease yeah. is incurable. <laughs> very nice, good job. Should we go say hi to your mom? Hi. hi. How are you? Can we turn on lights or are we looking for nap time? No, I'm just turning them off. <laughs> How's life? It's life. Yeah? Layla is in today to receive her latest dose of carboplatin. Carboplatin is an anti-cancer drug used during chemotherapy. Primarily, the drug is used to combat brain tumors. For Layla, carboplatin seems to be working in maintaining her vision. The disease and treatment last most of a patient's adolescence. This has a significant impact on the family home and finances. It was hard hearing that my daughter had a benign tumor and then hearing that she had to do chemo was even more scary because I'd never been through it, but it's still scary to hear that your daughter has a tumor. I'm taking it day by day, it's still stressful, but me and her dad are doing everything for her that we can do. Carboplatin, Layla's chemotherapy treatment, is administered in six cycles. Every cycle is six weeks in which Layla receives a weekly dosage. They do MRIs on her every couple months to make sure everything's okay and she's doing great. Tumor shrinking, the chemo's helping, she's healthy still. Her eyes aren't cross-eyed anymore. She's doing good. Typical two-year-old. And today is just carbo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> which means we're at the end of cycle six, which means only two more cycles to go. We we're not here for your birthday. <laughs> no, my birthday. Your birthday? Yeah. What do you gotta do for your birthday? An important part of Layla's treatment is to keep her and her family in high spirits. Though the disease is incurable, she is able to live a healthy lifestyle so long as she maintains the strength to undergo her chemotherapy treatments. Right, go for it. Layla is full of energy, life, and charisma. Tell me what you find. However, breaking the news to the family that their child has a life-altering disease is never easy. It's a hard, it's a really hard conversation to have. It is a privilege to have that conversation because you're telling that family that you are going to be with them forever for the short term and the long term to see them through this. Fantastic. You're still walking. It is really hard because sometimes what you, everything that you possibly can do for them is not enough. Hey, can I take a look at you? No! What? 
Okay. No, I Where do. do these go? I know. You're gonna go? Yeah. Dr. LeBlanc's work with Layla is making it possible for her to one day live without the tumor okay, and without the loss of her vision. Mm, no. <laughs> Over the course of Layla's treatments, the bond between doctor and patient have strengthened. I met Peter in August, September. He said that they would do the chemotherapy, they wouldn't want to do the surgery. And ever since then, Layla and him clicked. Mm -hmm. Like, they joke around with each other and everything when they come. She talks about him at the house, to asking when she'll see him again and everything. She loves him, and he's really great to her. Say, ah. Uh. Ah. Very nice job. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Here. Dr. DeBlanc is currently working on a pediatric brain tumor study to more precisely measure tumor activity. Layla is a part of that study, and as a result, is contributing to her own treatment, as well as the treatment of thousands of other children diagnosed with NF1. Layla is an amazing kid, and her progress has been terrific. She's been on therapy now for eight to ten months, and has um, really done remarkably well. She tolerates the chemotherapy extremely well. Her parents are wonderful about it and um, her vision is starting to actually improve, which is terrific. We don't always see that, but Layla seems to be one of the lucky few. With the help of Dr. DeBlanc and the research team at Rainbow's Medical Center, Layla now has the chance to live a healthy, productive life, free from the devastation of her cancer.